The vision for the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Janelia Farm Research Campus is to provide a home for interdisciplinary research directed towards discovering the biomedical sciences. Diversity can be very energizing and may allow problems to be solved that otherwise wouldn't be solved. We want to make this a place for visitors to come from all over the world. I am really happy to be here. This is like Christmas to me. I came from Bell Labs uh, in Murray Hill, New Jersey in the, in the 90s, and that was a wonderful place, but I described to my old colleagues from there that this place can be like Bell Labs on steroids. Well, we wanted the building to be inspiring, and the building is as unusual and creative, uh, I think, as what we're trying to hear. The first lab I worked in was in the basement. It was pitch black, it was gloomy, it was dark in there all the time. And this lab has incredible light and is gorgeous and you don't feel badly about being indoors on a day like today. Um, you look out the window, you go for a walk. Um, I think being in open space makes you happy to be here. I think this place will, will, will be all about discovery. Um, I think that this is the driving force, this is what um, they want us to do. I think they want us to completely take really complicated approaches, ask complicated questions and discover something really interesting. The vision is to create a unique place where research can be done with the most creativity possible. I won't go so far as to say that it's a unique model. What we're really doing here is recreating what the best environments were in other institutions. This design by Raphael Vignoli was selected because of the way it's integrated into the landscape. We always go like this when we talk about it, but it's, it's curved into the landscape. Um, you, when you drive up to it, you can't see it from the street because it's terraced into the hillside. Um, and that's one of the things that makes it so special. By the time you're my age, you're 40, you're, you've been running a lab for 15 years or whatever, um, you've got a sort of the equivalent of a small company. When you're worried about your next grant and how you're going to pay that postdoc, you're less inclined to take risks. You need to be able to A, have access to top-notch people across disciplines, and B, you have to be able to reduce the overhead of having to teach, having to write grants, having to do all this other stuff. Unlike in other institutions, because you're fully supported, you don't have the pressure to apply for funding, you don't have the pressure to really adhere to the standard uh, ways of doing science, you can really ask much more complicated questions. The way I see Genelia is not so much changing the world, but providing a place where we can do another kind of science, maybe an old school kind of science, where people had the freedom to pursue just blue sky research. When we see something which is currently out of reach of current science, it's not even clear you can stretch enough to get there. If there's a huge reward and the risk is high, then you say, aha, that is the kind of project that we have to think about as being appropriate for this campus. So the people that we've invited to come to Janelia are those that are comfortable taking risk. Um, and they plan to reach really far, really high, and we're going to do everything we can to support them. The really big breakthroughs and insights come from creative individuals who have a flash of insight. It's very similar to what you might think about artists or other kinds of uh, creative people, playwrights. They have an inspiration for a great plot. They wake up in the middle of the night and write it down. It's the same thing with scientists. 